Hey everyone, Don here. If you've been having trouble navigating your kick streaming VODs and you missed Twitch's VOD and highlight system, then stick around because in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to navigate your kick streaming VODs, whether they're shorter videos or longer videos, eight, nine, 10 hours, so you can more accurately identify your highlights and clips and get them out to your viewers faster. All right, let's get into it. So previously to finding out this little uh, trick uh, to improve your workflow, I had heard people saying that if you right clicked on the screen while your VOD is playing, you can save the video as, but honestly, I think that is a worse solution because if you have a really long VOD like this one where it's nine and a half uh, hours long, um, it really is just gonna take up a lot of space on your hard drive. So doing it this way, you can keep the VOD on kick and then just get the specific moments and highlights that you want out of the VOD. So here we have one of my recent kick streaming VODs and at first glance, it looks very much the same as Twitch, but there are a few key differences that makes navigating your VOD on Kick just a little bit harder than Twitch. So at first glance, we can see that in the bottom left corner, there is no current time that where the VOD is at. In the bottom right corner, we do get the total time of the VOD, which is about nine and a half hours for my VOD. And if we hover over the timeline itself, we get uh, at the playhead, we get the current time that the playhead is at. And wherever our mouse is, we're gonna get the time that we wanna navigate to. So we're at about four hours and 42 minutes is about to go to. So if I wanted to navigate ahead, to about five hours, you can see that we run into an issue, which is that the um, the point that we want to navigate to, the time shows up behind the current time. So it gets quite hard to see where you're navigating to. And also on a VOD this long, nine and a half hours, it gets pretty hard to um, see if you're trying to pick out a highlight or a clip that is 15 seconds, 30 seconds, or even one minute long. So what can we do? You'll notice that if I tap left and right on my on my keyboard here, I don't know if you can hear that, but nothing's happening. We're not navigating, the VOD's not moving. So what do we do? This can be very frustrating if you're just trying to use the mouse to navigate back and forth between the VOD and find specifically the spot that you're trying to go to. So what can we do? Well, I found out a neat little, I guess, trick that if you just click on the screen, uh, you can click anywhere, press tab once, you'll see that a box goes around the pause button. Press tab again, we're gonna go around the, um, we're gonna highlight the volume. One more time, we're gonna actually highlight the uh, the volume slider. And then if we press tab one more time, that's four times in total. Now we have the browser, um, we've highlighted the timeline. So now we can use the arrow keys to navigate forward and backwards. So you can see, as I press forward, 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 you see the uh, timer in the lighter box, in the light gray box or the white box changing there. So this is how we can use our keys to sort of like emulate Twitch's highlight system where we can, um, if we see something that's really cool or a funny moment or something like that, we can quickly tap our keyboard back or forward and then quickly hit record in OBS to get that highlight. So that's just a little trick I found out to navigate through your VODs on kick a little better. I'm not sure if streamers knew this or, or many people knew about this because um, on Reddit and all through Twitter, I'm seeing a lot of people ask, you know, um, how can I, how can I navigate my VODs? How can I download my VODs? Um, my editors need highlights. We need clips. You know, uh, certain people are saying that clips aren't working for them. Clips aren't working for me. I know that. So, um, you know, coming from Twitch, I had a system being a content creator myself where I need, I need content. I need clips every day. So coming to Kick, I really had to think about how to generate a workflow that would allow me to produce as many clips and highlights as I wanted to. So this is the way that I found out how to navigate the timeline bar on Kick. Hopefully that helps you guys out in your content creation. If it did, please drop a like, share, subscribe, and follow to my Kick stream, my Twitch stream, or my YouTube stream, uh, wherever you like to watch. Um, I'm mostly streaming on Kick nowadays. So you can catch me there a lot. But uh, yeah, like I said, hopefully that helps you. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, bye.